Do you believe in witches or supernatural entities? Well, this tale from a small town in South Wales called Bridgend might just change your mind. Picture this, a quaint, unassuming town nestled within the rolling hills and deep valleys of South Wales. A place of beauty steeped in history but bearing a dark past. A past that whispers of a terrifying entity. A witch who once cast a shadow over the surrounding valleys. Her malevolence wasn't just confined to the town of Bridgend. It seeped into the very heart of the valleys, causing the locals to live in dread. Her appetite was unspeakable, feeding off the life force of innocent children, leaving behind only a shell of their former selves. Every corner of Bridgend holds a story, a fragment of its haunted past. And as we are about to journey into its deepest, darkest corners, keep this in mind. As we delve into the shadows of Bridgend, remember, every tale holds a grain of truth. With the setting sun, our witch would emerge, casting a shadow of fear over Bridgend. As the last rays of twilight faded, her reign of terror would begin. No longer a quaint, peaceful hamlet, Bridgend transformed into a town gripped by fear, its once cheerful homes now shrouded in an eerie silence. With a hunger that knew no bounds, the witch preyed on the most innocent, the children of Bridgend. She would creep into their dreams, a phantom in the night, sucking the life force out of them. Each morning, parents would wake to find their children pale, listless, their once vibrant eyes now dull and lifeless. In these young souls, she found sustenance, leaving behind mere husks, shadows of the children they once were. Imagine, if you will, the terror that gripped the hearts of the townsfolk, the anguish of a mother cradling her child, too weak to smile, the desperation of a father unable to protect his family from an enemy unseen. The children lived in a constant state of dread, their dreams invaded, their joys stolen away. But Bridgend was not a town to cower in fear. The people rallied, united in their shared terror. They fortified their homes with charms and talismans, held vigils throughout the dark hours, their voices rising in a chorus of prayers, begging for protection from the cruel witch. Yet no matter their efforts, the witch remained an omnipresent threat, her power seemingly unstoppable. In the face of such terror, life in Bridgend became a cycle of dread and relief. Each nightfall ushered in a wave of fear, each household holding its breath, praying for the safety of their children. And as the first light of dawn broke, a sigh of relief would ripple through the town. Another night survived, another day to prepare for the horror that night would surely bring. Every dawn brought relief, but also a chilling reminder of the night to come. But the people of Bridgend were not ones to cower forever. The townsfolk, driven by desperation and hope, hatched a daring plan to confront the menace tormenting their children. The night of the confrontation was a symphony of tension, the whispers of the wind carrying the weight of their collective fear. It was a night of moonless shadows and breathless silence, as if the world itself held its breath, waiting for the outcome. The villagers, armed with steadfast determination, courageously faced the witch. The chilling shrieks of the witch echoed through the valleys, a desperate plea for mercy that fell on deaf ears. The life force she had stolen from the innocent was used against her. A poetic justice served cold and relentless, and then, just as the first rays of dawn painted the horizon, the witch crumbled, her reign of terror coming to an abrupt end. The witch was no more, but her memory lived on, a chilling reminder of the darkness that once plagued Bridgend. The witch of Bridgend might be gone, but the terror she inflicted is far from forgotten. Her shadow still looms over this small town in South Wales, a chilling reminder of the fear that once gripped these valleys. Her gruesome deeds, the life force she stole from innocent children, have left an indelible mark on the town's history. The horror is etched into the faces of the old, the stories passed down through generations, and the hushed whispers that still circulate in the dark corners of Bridgend. Her reign of terror may have ended, but the scars she left behind are a constant reminder of the dread that once consumed these hills. The Witch of Bridgend may be a tale of the past, but the terror she wrought is very much a part of the present. So I ask again, do you believe in witches in the supernatural? Because in Bridgend, they certainly do.